Okay, so this section is about block of polymer. Uh, it is a definition and the phase behavior will be talked about. So let me talk about the block of polymer. Block of polymer is, uh, it has a many different chain architectures, but you can think it as polymer, there's a polymer A, and then there's a polymer B. Usually they use as a red, uh, blue, and the red color. So let me, let me start with, uh, there's a polymer A, and then there's a polymer B. <laughs> But red and blue do not like each other, but they are kind of uh, tied together as a single chain. And sometimes uh, uh, it is, this is called a die block. Uh, sometimes uh, people make it into a tri block, which is uh, making a middle block. And then uh, they go back to the uh, same block again. So this is a. Uh, a B die block or A B A tri block, <laughs> and the way that the tri block is actually being made is they usually made by the they kind of growing out from the center, or actually they they make an A block, they make a B block, and then they couple. Okay, so there's uh, there are two different strategies people are trying to make this one, but. Uh, for for that, I think that that's more rely on the synthesis part. So I would just uh, focus on the different categories of the block copolymers. And uh, that uh, block copolymer BCP has a uh, the unique feature is because of the their unique chain architecture, they and the size of the polymer chain, nano scale, self assembly. Assembly is uh, one one in, in key features, and because of that, it is a uh, can be nano scale building block, and used for the ma various cases for the nanotechnologies and other other cases where you have a structural control in a nano scale. Uh, the other one is the nature is essentially if you, because of the incompatibility of A and B, it has a, in a way the M M P philic macro molecular surfactant, and using that as a way, uh, they. They use this one as a part of the templating material for making some uh, nanoscale organic inorganic structures as well as well too. Uh, among these various structures, uh, this ABA triblock copolymer could be the most uh, commercially uh, uh, developed. So this is a commercial commercial. Commercial tri block, and there are there are two two main categories. One is uh, uh, thermoplastic elastomer, elastomer. There are different kind. Polyurethane is also thermoplastic elastomer, but this is a more well defined black copolymer. For this sense, uh, the thermoplastic elastomer is actually based on the styrene based styrene butadiene polystyrene triblock or styrene polyisoprene polystyrene uh, triblock. You can also hydrogenate them. Okay, you can put in a hydrogen reactors and the polystyrene polyethyl butylene and polystyrene by uh, saturating the double bond in the polybutadiene. You can make this one more or less. Uh, 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 polymer that is uh, that is metamorphically stable, and so there are there are versions of the polyisoprene too. The, they are they are making a hydrogenated version of those polymers uh, for for the enhanced the thermal stabilities. Okay, so the thermal thermoplastic elastomer will be discussed separately later in this uh, series of videos. Uh, 
the second example is uh, 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 this thermoplastic elastomers, and they uh, go by Creighton, and there's a trademark. And Creighton originally was developed from the originally developed by Shell scientists, but later the Creighton uh, spin out and became a Creighton company itself is a separate company. <laughs> Another uh, polymer is what what we call the PEO, PPO, and PEO triblock. And this this the chemical structure is this is a polyethylene oxide, CH two CHO with a methyl coming out. So that's a PPO and the PEO CH two CH two O. Uh, this is uh, this polymer is a little bit more hydrophilic. The so polyethylene oxide is uh, known to be water soluble, and uh, the PPO is a little bit more hydrophobic. So due to the contrast on that, they they became as a macromolecular surfactant uh, to emulsify various compound, uh, particular macromolecules in the water. Uh, they consider this one a lot, and this is a. Uh, produced in you know, a larger scale, and then the commercial trade name for this one is known as uh, Pluronics, also known as Plaxomer. Plaxom, Plaxomer, Plaxomer. Okay, and then this is the company is making is a BASF. Uh, is a company that is making this. And this is also very widely used in very high-end applications. Sometimes they actually use in the uh, different uh, medical applications as well. And this, depending on the length of PEO, PPO chain, and overall chemical composition, uh, they have a different grade, and this is, they have a whole different system. Uh, here is a picture that I was able to find out from a publication show how many uh, papers uh, with a black polymer as a topic and is, is kind of exponentially grow. And the reason is because of the various application in the nanotechnologies and so on. Uh, year, about the year 2000 is a national nanotechnology initiative was uh, was started it and that that became the uh, first of a lot of interest in how people control the nanoscale structures and block copolymer has been an essential component of those whole efforts <laughs> and this is a picture that I was able to find out from the textbook and as you can see that uh, there is a a block this is an a block at the end or one chain end. Sometimes uh, you can see that there's a chain junction at the end, and then the um, the block, one of the block is at the end. Right? So this is a, uh, you can think about this star block or tri block. You can, sometimes they do have a link at, at the center, uh, was a link, cross linking point to combine those, the die blocks. You can, you can, you can think about growing the die block and the, the cross-linking it here, while you can growing the four uh, cup, uh, chemical compound that can couple the four different nucleophilic substitution, if you want to call it, and then, then they can make this uh, star block polymers. And then these are the different, just an architecture that how people make die block, tri block, sometimes a star block, and there are even more. And then depending on the chain architecture plays an important role and how this um, the self-assembly takes a place. Uh, and the categories for this is because, uh, okay, so uh, if I do this one as a A block, as a, so this is a picture from the, I guess the die block. So there's a lot of die blocks, but they, they form this its own domain. The die block form its own domain, and they form uh, so each part, each die block has a form, and then they kind of form this domain. So overall, you can see that that's a kind of reddish domain here, 
And uh, I guess a contrasting domain is the blue chain. The blue chain is forming another domain. So by doing so, what's going to happen is the, this polymer form its own junctions uh, organized at the interfaces. Right? So this is uh, where I can find some polymer chains in the textbook drawing. Uh, these are the where the, the junction points are organized and to minimize the contact. And this is uh, what we call ordered structure. And if this is a disorder structure, and you can see that the A and B contacts are typically allowed, and in many cases, uh, this uh, typically the uh, I mean the it's, it is always always a case when when the chi value decrease when chi values uh, chi values are decrease uh, it, it becomes a disorder state and chi values that goes up. That's a universal because the chi is a measure of the dislikeness. So therefore, when chi values between A and B, right, chi between A and B values go up, they form the uh, phase separation. And the experimental sense, uh, typically chi is proportional to 1 over temperature. So therefore, by tem increasing temperature, heating, your chi values are typically going down, and so therefore you are seeing this older disorder transition temperature. So that's what we call the ODT, order disorder transition. But there is always an exception to the rule, and then, and there's sometimes, uh, just like on LCSTB, uh, uh, LCST behavior, sometimes uh, you can have a lower critical order disorder transition temperature. So, uh, but it is uh, typically the when heat, heat temperature goes up, chi goes down, and then order to disorder transition occurs, and that's what we call the ODT, and that has been observed for this phenomena has been observed for the system such as a uh, polystyrene, polyisoprene, polystyrene, PMMA. Polystyrene and the PEO. And this is uh, all the uh, block of polymer that has, whose phase behavior has been known. Polybutadiene is probably known 